looks like we have a few roly polies running around in there. Everybody's moved up to that area. Here's what the bin looked like when I opened it. The worms, this is the layer that's directly against the substrate and the worms in there are a layer of cardboard. And that is where you can see the worms are starting to get up in it. It's just uh, amazing at, uh, at how quickly they'll do that once they discover it. They just get in there and start munching it. And I don't know, I'm not sure if they're breeding in there or what. But ultimately, where I'm ending up with it is that there are a lot more worms in there than I, than I could see before. I tried to shoot some footage of it, but I couldn't get it to focus and all of these had all these problems. So I just, just using these still images to demonstrate uh, the difference. We have, so we have those, those worms there that were on top of the cardboard are the, the largest worms that I've seen in there now. But when I introduced the worms, they were this size, which was very small. And um, I suspect since I put all of the dirt that they were in in there, that there were probably already eggs in there, I'm guessing. Or they just recently hatched out some because the size difference is noticeable. And I didn't see any of them that were this large in there when I moved it over. And I, I tried to look see as many as I could. So luckily we right now we're not sitting with any <laughs> any anything but uh all of the species of insects that I intentionally introduced in there. There's no roaches. So it looks like I've got my roach problem solved in actually all three bins, not just this one. What I decided to do is go ahead and add a few more fresh items of food, fresh meaning like, you know, week old or whatever, rotting, already rotting food, fresh for the worms, and the grass that's left over, let's see, that's wheat and oat seeds that we plant for our cats, I'm pretty sure that's wheat and oats, and um, once it starts dying off, I just throw it into these bins for more organic material for those worms and since this is the a, a complete experiment on this bin that's different than all the others i'm gonna add that real heavy layer of it in there to see what's going to happen with it how this bin progresses with all these different insects in this one this time yeah i think that's all this is 13.